Hey guys, long time no see. And the reason why is because we have some exciting news. We haven't just like quit working on stuff. We've no. actually been very, very busy and we've been working on something very mysterious. Can you guys guess where we're at? <gasps> dun, da, da, dun. The Winchester Mansion or the Winchester Mystery, Mystery House. House. Guys, we were contacted couple years ago to do some stuff and because of life and circumstances and stuff that happened, COVID, yeah. we finally got a chance to do some stuff for them for their Halloween event coming up. And it was such an honor and we have our stuff sprinkled throughout here. So we have been super busy the last two months building and building and building. And we came up here yesterday. You guys, we had the most amazing time last night because we got to go and look tour around the mansion and tour it and see some behind the scenes things that the normal public doesn't normally get to see. We got to see all the Halloween things that they're coming up with. And then we also got to see some of our stuff get put in place. So if you guys would like to see what we've been up to, we have a little bit of our construction and we have a little bit of what's going already into the ground. Good job, buddy. You doing some great stuff? Yeah. Harrison's using some expanding foam. We're gonna glue the bottom of the statue to this piece of yeah. wood. Yeah, this is a big statue. I, I'm gonna yeah. paint it and that's gonna be so much fun. Good job. Squeeze the trigger. Whoa. Good job, buddy. <laughs> good good work man the layer of fiberglass that I put on there has obviously a fiber texture to it and then I put a layer of gel coat over that and you can still see the fibrous texture right there now the thing is, is I'm thinking that if a person really spent the time to do the sanding to smooth this out, then the next layer of gel coat, if they wanted to do that, 
would really come out nice. Now we really want to make this thing look kind of handmade. So I didn't get too crazy on this particular job. So the next layer of gel coat that I'm putting on is covering that fibrous texture enough to where I think it's gonna sell it. Cause we kind of actually wanted this thing to look like it was paper mache. You know, I was on the fence about doing a second coat of gel coat, but I think now that I'm doing it, it's definitely worth the time. The little bugs had better days. Sorry, buddy. de los muertos skeletons day of the dead this lady is seven foot tall by her feather and her hat up here. <laughs> <laughs> and his sombrero i think this is like seven three seven four yeah at the height of it 
but as you can tell, they are fun. They are hand painted. It was very hard not to be very perfect on there, but these are supposed to simulate the handcrafted ones that they do down in Mexico. And so the colors we have for this lady, we have a beautiful exterior pink and purple. And then we just threw some other things in there. We gave her a nice little lace collar with some little details in there. We didn't want to get too crazy with the decorative detail and stuff. Just some real simple flowers, a little bit of blue trim right there. Christopher carved some handmade maracas and I just looked online to get some inspiration. So I have a little bit of hand painted floral accents right there. The hands are just painted. I tried to indent a little bit to give it kind of that skeletal bone thing. Yeah, thing. The, it's very technical. <laughs> <laughs> the handles are just um, a piece of wood dowel. I added a piece of three quarter inch plywood on the bottom of her and then also uh, on the on the guy there. I glued everything together using some expanding foam and I also uh, inserted a piece of rebar inside her neck to give a little bit of strength. We tried to do everything hand-drawn but of course you know drawing lines for like a guitar and stuff is pretty difficult so we just took I think a little bit of painter's tape and you know made it and then took it away and then hand did it and then here you know we kind of made a little stencil for ourselves but this is all hand done to kind of give it as you can tell it's not perfect but definitely gives it that hand craftsman you know yeah you have a way steadier hand than i do i was like all <laughs> it was funny sometimes chris would take over and i was like cringing a little bit i was like oh, <laughs> it was pretty bad, was bad i'm all you know? have to come fix it <laughs> yeah these were fine lines and then they no i'm just kidding it all turned out great i like her little eyelashes <laughs> their eyebrows it gives her some character <laughs> they're light one person can carry them which is good but they're uh, solid and sturdy yeah which is nice. I, I i think i only put about four to six ounces of fiberglass on there with the resin so what's nice is since the foam is left inside there it also gives it a little extra strength so if you guys are curious about where we got our inspiration from of course you know there's a lot of authentic you know, Dia de los Muertos art from Mexico. Disneyland also has a set of performers in a couple different areas, and they're actually a lot different. Like one of them has really long necks and very small heads, and then some of them um, kind of around the, the railroad ride. Um, they have a band there too, and you know, we just kind of looked at the different things, we wanted to do really colorful, and yeah, so this is our own creation, kind of a mashup of a lot of different ideas. This was a lot of fun to do. They're beautiful. I kind of don't want to give them don't up. I know. Don't want to give them up. It would be fun to decorate with. But it's going to be nice having them at the Winchester Mansion now. And then so many people can enjoy them and take pictures with them because I think they're going to be a photo op. Harrison, tell us all about your skeletons you made. Yes, you did help me paint. What colors did you help me paint? This one and this. Yes, you did. The pink and the purple. Oh, which other one did I do? You helped me with the pants. Right here. Where? Yes, the pants. You helped me with the brown on the pants. I think they got like, more detail. You think they need more detail? Yeah. Are you excited to go take these to the Winchester Mansion? Are you going to try to find some ghosts? I wonder if there's any, uh, I wonder if there's any monsters. Ooh. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> well, here comes right now. <laughs> there's a lot of construction going on around us, and then also they're not finished yet. They're no, not going to be done. they have more days of setup, like lighting and yep. final placement of things, but at least you guys can see a little bit of what they've got going on. And it looks amazing. I it wish does. It looked a lot closer. I know. I would love to attend. And you guys, what's really cool is they have video mapping, so this whole thing is going to be projected. Yeah, you can see all the, the stuff they got in the windows. They got a big old huge projector over there. So yeah, we wish that we could see this thing. Yeah, it's full but glory. We may have to, maybe we'll have to sneak back here. Yeah, I don't we'll know. See. Yeah, tell everybody what you thought of our, our lights off tour last night where we got to explore the mansion. Was it scary? Was it fun? What was your favorite part of that last night? The bed was moving. <gasps> Ooh, the bed, the bed was, was moving. moving. There was no scary parts? 
No? Not there even were, the there ghosts? Were, there were a couple dark hallways that we had to go through with just a flashlight, and that was pretty cool. <laughs> you want to see what I have here? Yes, sure. we to see it. Wave. All right, you going to lead us through? See the pumpkin mausoleum up there? If you had to pick, do you think the basement or the attic was more scary? Oh, the basement. Or the attic, the attic. Oh, really? I thought the basement was more scary. What was scary about the basement? Just the musty smell? No, it was, I like that musty smell, but it was dark and there were little corridors, but it was so dark that you could see in there. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was more scary. Harrison, do you remember seeing the wheelbarrow ghost down in the basement? Way down the hall. Yeah, the coal chute. The big furnace. <laughs> no, we didn't do that, but we did build one of our beautiful pumpkins, and there's another one over there. Are you gonna take a picture with the daisies? There's my little cutie. <gasps> yes, me. Okay, don't go back there though. <laughs> what was your favorite part? My, my favorite part was the chair part. <laughs> yes, we saw some rocking chairs move all by themselves. <laughs> saw a lot of things moving by themselves. Check this out. This is all made from funkins. It's a Dia de los Muertos skull. How cool is that? Here's another one. And a beautiful altar. Harrison, just think we were walking all through the halls of the house. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed getting to see this take place. You know, getting to build everything and then coming here and actually setting it in place. Thank you again so much to the Winchester Mansion for letting us be yes. a part of your Halloween season. We look forward to many future Halloweens working with you. And Harrison, did you have a blast? Yeah, the whole process was yeah. so much fun. Yes, it was. <laughs> you guys definitely come and check them out during the Halloween season. They have a lot of spooky atmosphere and a couple little scares for you. Yeah. And yeah, if you guys take any pictures and come here, please tag us on Instagram, Hollywood Haunter. Absolutely. All right. All right. Bye. Happy Halloween. That was a good one. What was that, the moving target? Yeah. Man.